Welcome back to Financial Futures, where today, we're diving into one of the most volatile days the stock market has seen in recent memory. The market's freefall is raising alarms, signaling that confidence in the economy is evaporating. As we move deeper into September, key dates are poised to exacerbate this downward spiral, potentially pushing us into a full-blown recession. The warning signs are everywhere investors are losing faith, businesses are cutting back, and the stock market is reacting violently. Today, we'll unpack the reasons behind this sudden crash, the critical economic reports coming up this month, and what it all means for you and your financial future. But before we get into the nitty-gritty, I need a small favor from you. If you find value in today's video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to Financial Futures. Your support helps us continue to bring you the insights and analysis you need to navigate these turbulent times. And don't forget to ring the bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Now, let's dive into what's driving this market chaos. Today's market opened with a steep decline, and it didn't get any better from there. By the closing bell, the Dow Jones had shed 1.5%, the S&P 500 was down over 2%, and the Nasdaq took the biggest hit, plummeting more than 3%. These aren't just numbers, they represent billions of dollars in lost value and signal a growing fear among investors. But why is this happening now? Well, it's no secret that markets hate uncertainty, and right now, there's plenty of it. With the upcoming elections adding a layer of unpredictability, Many investors are moving their money out of stocks and into safer assets like cash or bonds. And when large institutional investors those managing hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars start reallocating, it creates massive waves in the market. This is just the beginning. As we approach several key economic reports, including the non-farm payrolls and the Federal Reserve's FOMC meeting, volatility is likely to spike even further. Let's break down what's coming up and why it's so crucial. First up, we have the non-farm payroll report for August, set to be released this Friday. This report is a critical indicator of the health of the labor market, and recent trends haven't been encouraging. The last few reports have shown weakening job growth, and unemployment is ticking up. If this trend continues, it could be a sign that the economy is slowing down more rapidly than anticipated. Why does this matter? Because a weakening job market often leads to reduced consumer spending, which can slow down the entire economy. And remember, this isn't just about unemployment numbers, it's about the ripple effects those numbers create throughout the economy. If people aren't confident in their job security, they're less likely to make big purchases like homes or cars, which in turn impacts multiple industries. Then, just a few weeks later, the Federal Reserve will hold its next FOMC meeting. This could be the most important meeting of the year. There's a lot of speculation that the Fed might cut interest rates, but the question is, by how much? A minor cut of 25 basis points might not do much to stimulate the economy. But if the Fed decides to make a more aggressive cut, it could indicate that they're worried about the economy's health perhaps more than they're letting on. An aggressive rate cut could be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it might provide a temporary boost to the economy by making borrowing cheaper. On the other hand, it could signal that the Fed believes we're heading into a deeper economic downturn, which could spook investors even more. The Fed is in a tough spot. They need to balance the risk of an overheated economy with the need to support growth. If they raise rates, they risk pushing the economy into a recession. If they cut rates too much, they could trigger inflation or signal panic. This balancing act is critical, and the decisions made at this upcoming FOMC meeting will have long-lasting impacts on both the market and the broader economy. And it's not just about this month. The decisions made now will set the tone for the rest of the year and beyond. Will the Fed play it safe with a small cut, or will they take a more aggressive stance? Either way, 
the market will react, and so should you. So, what does all of this mean for you as an investor? First and foremost, it's time to review your portfolio. Are you diversified enough to weather more volatility? Do you have exposure to safer assets that can provide stability if the market continues to decline? Remember, the stock market often serves as a leading indicator for the broader economy. If we continue to see sharp declines, it could be a sign that tougher economic times are ahead. This is why it's more important than ever to stay informed and be proactive about your financial strategy. My advice? Keep a close eye on the upcoming economic reports. Understand that volatility isn't going away anytime soon, and prepare yourself for the possibility of a recession. It's better to be prepared and not need it than to be caught off guard. As we navigate these turbulent times, I'll be here to keep you informed with the latest updates and strategies. This is just the beginning of what could be a very challenging period for the market, so stay tuned to Financial Futures for all the insights you need. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit that like button if you found today's content valuable. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Also, check out the other videos on our channel for more in-depth analysis on the economy and markets. We've got a busy end to the year ahead, and I'll be here every step of the way to help you navigate it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.